Hi, I'm Carl. In this video, we're going over questions 42 and 43, or unit 15 of section 3 of the blue booklet. So this is a question about Gibbs free energy equation, which I've drawn out here. And I'm just going to quickly go over what all the different terms mean. Um, so this is our enthalpy. In an endothermic reaction, this is going to be positive. In an exothermic reaction, this is going to be negative. This is temperature measured in Kelvin. And this is a change in entropy, which is a measure of disorder of a system. In order for a reaction to take place, or for it to be spontaneous or feasible, it can be worked in a couple of different ways. This value has to be negative or less than zero um, for it to be feasible. And that'll be feasible at a particular temperature. If it's greater than zero, then you can say it's not feasible. If it's equal to zero, then sometimes you can get an equilibrium, but not always. Okay, so for question 42, we're told that a uh, polymer is heated in an oven and it shrinks to less than half of its initial size. So there's a reaction that's occurring here, which tells us that the Gibbs free energy is going to be less than zero. So the sum of all these things, which is going to be um, the enthalpy, which has the temperature multiplied by the entropy subtracted from it, uh, has to be zero overall. Given that it's in an oven, we know that's going to be an endothermic reaction. So we know that the change in enthalpy is going to be uh, positive. So it's going to be um, greater than zero. In order for this whole expression to then be negative, this has to be positive because if it was if it was negative you'd be adding um, something to this positive value and you get a positive value overall then. But if you're going to be taking away something positive from something positive, if you're taking it away then you can end up getting a negative overall. Um, so that means that our delta s has to be positive. And then that gives us an answer of A for this. 43 then, it says potassium nitrate crystals are dissolved in water, a drop in temperature is observed. So going from KNO3, which would be solid, um, to its aqueous form, we know that there's going to be a drop in temperature, which means it's going to be endothermic. So we can say that the change in enthalpy is going to be um, greater than zero for this. It says from this observation predict the signs of delta S and delta H for potassium nitrate when it's crystallized from an aqueous solution. So let's think about the, en the entropy change which is happening here. So going from the um, solid state into the aqueous state this is going to be an increase in entropy and that makes sense because it's going to be a feasible reaction. So we know it's going to be greater than zero too. So therefore going in the other direction, we're going to have to swap both those around. So that means we get a value of delta H, which is going to be less than zero or negative. And the same is going to be true for delta S. And that gives us an answer for 43 of D. So that was a quick unit 15. I hope that helps.